Hi, my name is Alex, and my YouTube channel is Flash Domino. Well, I'm about to set the precedent for many future community videos on this channel, I think it's a good time to talk about how I've been able to make building a part of my life along with all of my other obligations. It's a topic that a lot of builders can probably relate to, and it's been handled in many different ways. Yet balancing building with school, activities, uh, and most importantly, well-being, continues to be a problem that a lot of us have. I'm also going to set the precedent for this video by saying that I, I barely vlog. It's probably been over a year since I've last had to do this. Anyways, let's talk about building. I know that I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but trust me, I've still been building. Because building does not always have to mean chain reaction building. Chain reactions are a commitment. You can't really move projects once you've built them. They're fragile, and most ideas don't work until they've been super refined and polished. So recently, I've been incorporating building into my life through other less time-consuming projects. It satisfies my need to build something while taking up less of my time. For instance, I've been building a kite. I'm still figuring out how to stabilize the flight, but for now, it at least gets off the ground. I've left it for long periods of time and returned to it when I'm free. And then I also make a lot of random useful things from connects, like this phone stand and pencil holder. But it's still nice to have some chain reaction activities to uh, still be a part of this community. So what I've been doing is planning Reactica. Reactica is annual, so the work is ongoing. And there's a lot of chain reaction work that goes into Reactica besides building. Prepping and distributing materials, making blueprints, and scheduling team calls, for example. It's a good way to keep in touch without actually building, and most of these tasks don't take as long as the actual build. But not every builder has an event to plan, yet many of you probably have project ideas. So make your blueprints, organize your materials, do little things that will prepare you for when you get the time to build. Or start an event. Event planning is a long-term commitment, but it's never a heavy commitment at any given time. There are always local organizations and venues that will appreciate your work, and I'm honestly glad people are so accepting of this new art form. Most importantly, what keeps me going is when I really think about why I want to build. I want to share my ideas with people, and I want to express myself. Maybe some of you can relate to that. Because when you, when you build a lot, you start to realize it defines you. If I make something, anything, uh, it's amusing, it's refreshing, it reminds me who I am. Building has taught me that I'm allowed to create my own world, and the world needs its creators. So if anyone needs to talk about school, stress, balance, be open about it. I'm happy to hear your stories, but you can also talk to any builder since we've probably all dealt with these situations. It's been very eye-opening to talk to people about this already. Maybe some of you have other input too, but this is all I have on this topic. So thank you all for watching, uh, if you've made it this far, and I'm looking forward for what's to come on this channel. I appreciate the opportunity to speak. So, see you around, friend. <laughs> Actually, I forgot to film this earlier. Uh, I'm supposed to ask a question for the viewers. So, how do you manage your school and building time? Uh, let me know, and thanks for watching. Bye for real. <laughs> Thank you, Flash Domino. Those are some great tips and ideas on how you can still be part of the community and still keep building sort of alive in your life, even if you're not actually building and you're still in school. To anyone else watching, how do you keep up building and school? Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you later.